Alright, this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at the graph of the cosine of x. So as you can see in this one we do have a, uh, a nice little uh, C, so we should be shifted. As you can see since it's plus uh, pi thirds, we're going to be shifted to the left pi thirds. So let's see what our graph looks like. Uh, for starters, again what we're going to do is we're going to find our amplitude. So you're going to find the amplitude the same way uh, with sine as you would with cosine. So absolute value of the coefficient of the cosine, which in this case is 1. To find your period, you're going to take 2 pi and divide it by b. b is the uh, coefficient of your variable, so in this case it's 1. So it's going to take 2 pi for us to complete one cycle of our graph. Next we're going to find our phase shift. So in between 0 and 2 pi, we're going to put whatever we're taking the sine or cosine of. In this case, it is x plus pi thirds. So we're going to solve that, so we'll subtract pi thirds from each section of our graph. Hopefully I don't mess up like I did last time. When we do this, uh, we get negative pi thirds here. This is less than or equal to uh, x in the middle, which is less than or equal to... This is 6 thirds, so when you take 1 away, you'll be at 5 pi thirds. Alright, looks a little bit better. Uh, again, just a little check. The distance between these two things better be this. So, uh, two holes in thirds is six thirds, so I think that's six thirds. And we're going to take our divisions and we're going to divide them by four. When you do that, you're going to get pi halves. So, one thing you do need to realize is I'm going to have to add this and this together. So, I'm going to go ahead and write this in sixths because I know that's what I'm going to need. Uh, so, this is going to be three pi over six. So just doing a little progressive stuff because I'm not going to have to add those. So let's see if we can't look a little bit here then. We get something that looks like this. Uh, we're going to start at negative pi thirds. So we'll label our axis. Negative pi thirds obviously be on the negative side. And then we're going to add to that basically 3 pi 6. And again, like I said, the fun part about doing this is, is basically doing all of the uh, fraction stuff. So this right here is uh, 2, 6. So when you add that, you'll be at pi 6. And you add it again. 1, 6 plus 3, 6 is 4 pi 6. But 4 pi 6, of course, will reduce. Uh, 4 pi 6, that's 2 pi thirds. When you add it again, we've added it twice so far. So uh, we'll add it again. So that was 4, 6. So that will be 9 pi 6 which will also reduce 9 pi over 6 by both by 3, so 3 pi halves this time. And then uh, 9, you add that to it, and we'll be at 12 pi 6, hopefully, 12 pi 6. And when you simplify that, for some reason, maybe I've done something wrong because I didn't get the value I wanted to. Uh, what did I do? That'd be one third, four, six. Oh, that'd be seven, six. Sorry, I should be writing this stuff down, but I'm trying to do the math in my head. So this is seven pi six, and then add three more to it, and you're at ten pi six. That makes better sense. All right. So again, we were at negative two six plus three is one six. This is four six. This is 7, 6, and that's 12, I mean 10, 6. So just adding 3 every time. Now we have our x-axis labeled, and let's see if we can't graph our nice little function. Uh, one of the big differences uh, between what we're doing now and what we've done in the past is now we're graphing cosine. So cosine starts, as you can uh, remember, we talked about the patterns. So this time we're graphing positive cosines. So we're going to start with a maximum value. Again, normally, since we're talking about a wave function, our maximum value will be uh, based on, it'll be 1, unless our A, of course, is different. Well, A is 1, so when you multiply 1 times 1, you get 1. And you'll be at 0, and you'll be at negative 1, and then 0, and then back to positive 1. So the graph will look a little something like this. One thing to remember, it is a wave function. Okay, We're just graphing one cycle of the graph. This pattern basically continues on both sides. So don't just draw, when you have these uh, nice little five dots right there, 
you may think that you can just draw a line that kind of looks like that. Well, it's not. Uh, it's not a bunch of sharp points. After it goes, this is the maximum value, so it's going to go down after that. So don't just, I have a lot of students that will go and they'll hit this point and they'll just keep going. Well, that's not right. Uh, your function doesn't do that. It kind of bends back down. Okay. Good to know. All right. Let's look at another example here in a second.